So this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. Please do help the channel grow and subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I go live and upload content. All right, Virgo, this is for Virgo sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Virgo influences your chart. You can take this energy for the next seven days and apply it to that part of your chart. Let's get into your reading, Virgo, and see. Woo! Ooh, you got something to say. Life is a mystery and bring your ideas to life. What is at play? There is something just boiling underneath your surface. There's just something that wants to pop out of you. Something that you've been waiting for or something that you've been wanting. Something that you've been thinking about. Something that you want to create. There's this sense of it just right beneath the surface, ready to crack, ready, ready to break. This could also speak to an opportunity that is really seriously a centimeter away from you. It's just about to break. It's just about to break through. This is sort of a breakthrough. I think you're keeping a calm face on, but it's like underneath the surface, there's something that you just want to explode. It just want to be like below your top. I don't think this is in a bad way. I think it's in, I think it's in a very good way. It's almost like you are have so much energy pent up beneath you, you just could light up a whole freaking room like a bolt of lightning. It's almost unbearably difficult for you to control, but you are Virgo and you do handle yourself and you're sitting there with this face, like trying to wear this face of, I'm not ready to tell, I'm not ready to say, I'm not ready to say, or it isn't even yours to keep. It's, it's just a message to you saying, yeah, Virgo, this is about to pop off. It's something that you maybe won't see coming or you can feel it. You can feel it because uh, what I know about Virgos, you're extremely intuitive, but a lot of times you guys like to look the other way from your intuition. You do, you do, you do. Sometimes you just like, you love to look away from your intuition if it doesn't fit into what is sensical and practical and basically what you've scheduled out for the next two months. So... This is definitely different energy than that. This is the energy of creation, of something going to burst through and break your schedule to smithereens. And maybe that's why you're trying so hard to conceal it. But I'm not getting the vibe of it being anything negative. I think that this could be a very, very beautiful thing. You know, I just remembered a certain romance reading that I did this weekend. And I don't want to say that this could have anything to do but it might. I'm just saying, it might. Um, essentially, this is something that you are really so excited about that you want you would want to tell the world, but you can't tell the world yet because you're like, no, it isn't official yet. Until the papers are signed and all the lines are dotted, I am just going to maintain my calm. Yep. <laughs> you know, it's like, you want to tell the world this is almost like bursting at the seams, excitement, trying to maintain an air. And this is also fate. This is like the eight card is the card of destiny. So this is something that is sort of divine intervention. Like the gods of Zeus just blessed you with this gift of the electric bolt. So this is extreme power. This is a lot of influence. This is something that is going to change your life. This is definitely something that's going to change your life. And I know that you can at the very least feel it coming. And I can tell you it's going to come this week. It's all, it could come in a day. Because look, at there's 24 hours in a day. 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 Day eight. Eight days. So that's within this week. I know a, a week is officially seven days. But that's definitely within this week. 24-hour period. Eight 24 hour periods. That's basically within this week. Within this week, there's just going to be something, a huge breakthrough that you make for your life, in your life. And <laughs> it's just going to change everything. This is when the breakthrough happens. This is when it comes through. And this isn't a change that you're reluctant for. This is something that you're so excited for, but you're not wanting to share the news right now because it's like you're just, there's still a sense of, this is too good to be true, almost, almost. Too good to be uh, true. Oh my God, I can feel you straining. It's like my jeans after Thanksgiving dinner. They wanted to stay buckled, but they just couldn't. You know what I'm saying? It's like the strain is intense. 
This is hard energy to contain, but this is like almost divine and magical energy. Um, this is like Gandalf, you shall not pass energy. And what did I say? Magic. Magic works through you. So you're the conduit. You're the focus for this magic this week, Virgo. You are the staff that the power comes through. You are that energy conductor. You are that lightning rod. You are what takes something from the heavens and filters it down onto earth. This is also shamanic energy, which means the voice of the gods. You're speaking for the voice of the gods. It's like they're speaking through you. Divinity is working through you. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. You could be... Hold on. I'm sorry. I have to discipline my dog. Whoo! Gotta discipline those puppies. Oh, where's my card? Where, oh, there you go. This could be Cancerian energy, but this is magic. This is... This is that energy between, like, bam, it's alive, like a thunderbolt bringing the monster to life. But I don't think you're bringing a monster to life. I think you're bringing something to life, a new life. If you're waiting for a child to be born, it could be coming through you. This could be your child is going to be born this week. Um, if you're waiting for, I don't know, some, some good word or good news, it's coming in this week, but it's, it's like, it's, it's like you're the bearer of the good news. Like it's coming in through you. Like you're the one and you're the reason why this is happening. You're the reason <laughs> there's nobody, there's nothing else. Five plus two is seven. This is the energy of magic. This is the energy of creation. What I say, seven days, seven days. This is the energy of creation. It is happening through you, literally like childbirth. Something is coming through you. So you could be sitting on a huge energy. You could be sitting on a huge idea. This could be you at work sitting there. You just can't wait to share this idea. Or when there's a situation that has to be solved, Bam, the lightning strikes in your head and you're the one this brilliant idea comes through. You are going, you're the lightning rod. You're the lightning rod this week. You are the one that everything is coming through. Wow. Virgo, if you're on a platform that allows for commercials, I'm going to slide one in here and I'll be back in about 30 seconds. I really appreciate your patience. So thank you so much for hanging with me. That's actually a donation to the channel when you watch the commercial. So I'm really grateful and thank you for your patience. <sighs> this is a big reading, Virgo. The, mi the miracles are endless. Virgo, you might not even see half of this coming, but it's coming through you. You are the bearer. You are the... You are the beast of burden delivering the gods to the people. Do you understand? Like that's what cow is. That's why cow is a sacred uh, animal in, in, the, in the Hindi religion, right? Because he is the steed of choice of the gods. So when the gods come down from the heavens and they visit earth, cow is who they ride upon. So you, what did I say? It's constant. You are the delivery mechanism. You could be giving good news to somebody else. You could be discovering or giving somebody information that helps to change their life. Something is happening through you and you are delivering it real. You are delivering it fast. You are delivering it clear. You are the bearer of some exceptionally wonderful news this week. It's either happening to you, but it's definitely happening through you. So at the very least, you're going to be present for this miracle to happen. You could be the conduit for it to happen, right? It's coming through. You are never alone. This is my love card, okay? This is my true love card. This is definitely life. You can feel the heartbeat almost pulsing through this. This is life coming through you. I swear to God, if my girl calls and tells me she is pregnant again, I am going to be like, damn, I... Mm. That is, that's the energy. This is the, like, there's a heartbeat inside of you. This is a, this is bringing something to light, bringing something into reality, bringing something into the real world. This is love. This could very well be the energy of this is why you're so excited. You've been wanting to tell people. You've got this new love in your life. You've got your new boo. And you just want to announce it to the world. This could be you're getting married. This could be an announcement of an engagement. This is definitely something new. Like a new life taking off. This is energy of 
good news. It's good news and it's love and it's it's happiness and it's it's home. It could have to do with the home. It could it, you could be getting news this week that you got approved for your mortgage. Something like this is you breathing life, breathing coming into the world through you, and it has something to do with that heart space. Could have something to do with somebody who loves you. Know your worth. So it's almost like. In some ways, this is the um, trying too hard card, trying to make it seem like something is really, really wonderful when it's not. It's almost like there's a stinky layer underneath. But I honestly feel this week is almost like you're going to let your skunk out. You don't care. It's almost like, hmm. Yeah, it's almost like you don't, you don't, you're not going to really care this week if, 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 it basically, you're not going to care this week what people think about you because you're just so gosh darn happy. Or this could be you bringing to light somebody else's stink and really saving the day because you do it. But this is definitely something that was sort of been dressed up or glossed over, um, something that hasn't been addressed in a while, coming out into the open. And clearly, it's going to work in your favor. Here we go. A rebirth is assured, but it's in reverse. This is the only card that's in reverse. So this has to do with an older situation. This is not something that's brand new. So even though I feel like something was going to like fly out of the blue and you weren't, didn't know it, this you didn't know about it, even if it catches you by surprise, it's because you forgot about it because this is a, a long lasting situation. This is something that's been hanging around, forgive the pun, it's been hanging around and hanging in the air for a while and it's finally being bought into the light. This is nothing, like nothing happening. Something, a stillness, a pause. Know your worth, a stillness, a pause. Something that hasn't, something that hasn't been able to happen for a while. Something that you thought would never happen and you've been trying to make yourself happy even though you weren't really happy. You've been trying to make yourself like feel good or look good when it wasn't really happening. This is a sense of maybe you haven't been able to get pregnant for a long time and you almost gave up on it like type of energy. That's the type of energy. It's not necessarily the scenario, but this is a scenario of you didn't think this was possible. You've been sort of stuck in stagnation for a long time, having to put on a happy face and make pretend that it didn't exist. But this week it is coming out. It is coming out. This is the energy of something that you really never thought would happen, that you almost thought at this point was impossible. Yeah, you, you kind of like, um, you, you kind of like resigned yourself to being stuck, staying, staying where you were. You, you'd resign yourself to that, even though it wasn't really making you happy. And this is your card. This is an energy of Virgo. Bring a gentle touch. Ooh, you might have to break this news to somebody very, very gently. Even though it seems like it's good news. You may not want, you may intentionally be holding back because maybe just maybe somebody else has bad news. Like in the presence of, of bad news or somebody else's major disappointment, you don't want to share too much about your good news because it's like, it, it's, it's almost, there's almost this energy of you, you don't, you kind of like, you don't want to be, you're, you're bursting at the seams, but it's like, you don't want to be too happy when this other energy is like life is a little bit stinky and nothing's happening or moving forward for somebody else. Hmm. Okay. Learn from the past. This is definitely a situation that you already know about. This is definitely something that you have been waiting for. This is definitely a situation where you could kind of feel like, well, you know, maybe we, we like we made different choices like we we made different choices and that's why we're moving ahead but it's like you don't want to gloat about it either because you know how obnoxious that would be that's really interesting information learn from the past maybe this is just saying simply like don't let yourself be stuck embrace this change because if you don't it will pass you by Look at this, slow down, slow and steady wins the race. This is about emotional happiness, emotional stability, swimming in your emotions, feeling, feeling happy, feeling 
at one with who you are, knowing that your home travels with you, like your home is where your heart is, and heart, it, you, you're like, um, yeah, this is Cancerian energy, but it's not like I'm gonna hide from the world Cancerian energy. It's, I, I don't have to hide in my shell, my shell is a part of me. I never leave home, home is always somewhere with me. This is an interesting scenario. This is really an interesting scenario. Something from your past might come back up so that this is in this, in this week, two different things are happening. One, the best news of your life and two, something really sad or disappointing. And so it's almost like trying to find a balance between those two extremes. And, and maybe that's why you're trying to contain all your good news because you know that there's an other situation that's happening that you don't want to you don't want to sound like you're bragging about or you don't want to like take the attention off of there there's just some energy of like of like holding on to it or keeping it to yourself um or oh i just got this you never forgot you never forgot an old situation Maybe you didn't forget an old situation where somebody helped you out. That's really interesting. Slow and steady wins the race. Trust in the great mystery and transformation is beautiful. Yeah, you're definitely taking the plunge this week. This is this is this is almost like you're definitely, you're just diving in. Do you see, I kind of share this with you. Do you see that this is definitely transcendence and now you can spread your wings and fly because you're a butterfly now. You've popped out of your chrysalis. But this almost look like a mer looks like a mermaid's tail. If you incorporate this shape into it, this is like a mermaid's tail. You have transformed. Not only can you fly, but you can swim. You're diving in. And this is into the great mystery. You are taking the big leap. You're taking a leap of faith. You're just plunging in. I think I think this is this the, the, the bottom line is you don't want to be stuck. You don't want to be stuck the way that you used to be. You're you're there's a little bit of revelry when it comes to um when it comes to uh, this 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 happy news in like nostalgia looking back and not that you don't want to move but you remember the times you remember the times when you couldn't and you had to fake being happy and I think that this almost tempers you in some way so that you don't explode and you don't flip out and you you aren't boisterous it's almost like you're accepting these beautiful wonderful gifts and this moment with a humbled grace because you basically know what you're getting into. You're fully aware at this point. I think maybe last time, this was, a, especially if this is a new romance, there was a lot of naivete when it came to the romance right before this. Um, there was a sense of, you know, you, you got completely covered in it and you ended up being really hurt. And I think that you were trying to avoid a new situation like this for quite some time, but you're very certain of this circumstance in this situation. You're very, very certain of it. And this is the week where you just take the dive because you're honestly comfortable. You have found your home. You found where you belong. You definitely want to take the plunge. If you're house hunting, it's like you found the house type of thing. And maybe, yes, you're scared because there's a huge investment and there's a little bit of hesitation in you these are all examples. There's a little bit of hesitation in you between, oh, are we really ready for this? Are we really ready for this? Yes, we really are ready for this because we're prepared and we know what we're getting into. We've learned. We learned. We remember the times when we were stuck and life stunk and we had to we had to fake it till we made it or we had to just we, we, we had to just get through it or power through it and somehow find beauty in a stinky situation. And now that we're not in this situation, it's because we've been through the situation that we are ready to just literally take the dive. So ultimately, there's this, there's this absolute kinetic energy that just wants to fly off the handle and it's just so pure and so beautiful. It just wants to literally explode like a lightning bolt in the sky. But instead, what you're going to do is you're going to dive deep. You're going to go deep. 
You're going to go deep down inside of yourself. You're going to dig past, past those memories and into those experiences. And you're going to use them to tether your energy and to just make it home. To take the plunge into, in other words, use the energy internally to find a way to just have the courage to dive in. Dive in and swim in your emotions and accept, like, accept this new home. You are going to make this move. You are going to take this plunge. Like fortune favors you this week. Let me turn the camera around. Hold on. Look at this. All of this energy of just diving in and finding life in water. In other words, finally being able to trust your emotions again. There's so many emotions here. This is a card of awakening or finally realizing and expressing your emotions or expressing your feelings. Finally being ready. Taking this energy and using it to sort of empower yourself. Instead of exploding out loud, you're using it internally to empower who you are and 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 um, fuel or energize this transition that you're having in your life. Because there is definitely this remembrance of when times were rougher and you were stuck. There is a remembrance of it. See, you you remembering it. You're looking back on it. You re, you just. You, it's, it's, it's almost like it's this just enough humbling so that you don't explode all around you, but instead you just take the plunge. This is an interesting set of energy. So what I'm going to do is take you over to the extended. The link is below. I'm going to really dive into what this energy is because these energies honestly are still confusing me. So I'm going to dive into um, a tarot card reading and really sort of dig, like flesh out what's going on there. And we'll also do this romance reading. All right, Virgo, link is below. I'll see you over there.